All right, so Chris and I have moved over and we're looking at some of the new uh, gauges and some of the new uh, consoles that yep. you guys have out. You want to give me a little, give us a little bit of a rundown on what we're seeing here? Yeah, I'll give you a briefing here. Uh, for the Sherwood line, we've introduced uh, some new pressure gauges, depth gauges, and a new puck style computer. Um, this puck style computer is called the Logic, and it's replacing our Insight and Profile line. Okay. Uh, and while it's still similar in shape, uh, it's been modernized from the type of computer chip that's in it, from the type of screen that's in it, but it still remains super simple for a single user or also in the rental market because it's just used with a battery, it's a coin battery 2450, and it's very easy to, to use. It's like a Windows type function that we use. Uh, we have the Buellman algorithm in it that works to help keep driver safety. And um, yeah, it's a great computer. Let me do this so everybody can get a little view of that. So you can see that and really nice when you've got that user replaceable battery. Make sure you're paying attention to that O-ring when you're doing that stuff yourself. Or you could take it in to Diver Supply and they can do the battery change Correct. for you, that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, we have a specific service yeah. kit for that. So this could be and it, is that what this wrist model is here? Correct, yeah, we ha because of the design and the, how we did uh, the previous models, we have now a wrist version okay. that's easy to pop in and out. Let you guys see that. All right, I see a depth gauge there. Correct, that's, a, that's the wrist depth gauge model. And then we also have it in a hose mount version. A little bit easy to, easier maybe to pop this off. Yeah, and a lot of you folks like me like to have two computers when you dive so having a hose mount as well as a wrist mounted unit is amazing yeah you know that's a that's the best of all the world it, it creates a lot of variety so we have the the hose mount right here and the hose mount design is actually specifically made where we can work on a rubber hose and we have a grommet that's able to be put in so it can fit, let me see if I can get this off. The real thin, like the, the braided the braided, hose. braided style yeah, hose. Exactly. You know, sometimes you have those issues moving pieces. And one of the things I was going to point out, if yes, we sir. could turn it this way, yep. not only is the case concave, but the little grommet inside is concave and the screw that tightens it all out has got a a little grommet in there that is concave. Mm -hmm. That's huge, that's huge. I'm thinking of all the details. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's all about the details, right? So, go ahead. Okay, great. So that's the uh, brief on the logic. We can okay. probably do a all specific, right. more detailed one in the future. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, we've also introduced a new line of Sherwood depth and pressure gauges. And as you can see, we have a lot of different options. So here is actually a pressure gauge, depth gauge compass model. We have the version with the Logic computer in it as a console. Now let me point out this is not an air integrated computer. So this is going to help keep your cost down and if you're very you know you're one of those divers that really enjoys having a separate pressure gauge from your computer as well as a really nice compass on the back. And it's got a really nice window here for your direction and such. Correct. Yeah. I will point out for eyes that maybe have a little hard time seeing, this pressure gauge, it's so easy to read. And I think I'm seeing a global version here. So if you're used to bar, or maybe you're used to your Imperial, you got the best of both worlds Correct. here. Yeah, okay? we wanted to make it easy for the shops and the consumers to have one option so they don't have to stock as much. So we do the dual scale Yeah. and we made it as large as possible even though it's a 1.75 diameter. I think you can see that there. Yeah. And the new design, uh, you can't see it unless we take it out. That's okay. Uh, but it's yeah. super, low, so, super low profile and lightweight as a gauge. Yeah. Um, exactly. And one of the other things I like to point out, see these connection points? Don't take your gauge and put it in your zipper pocket. 
put your leash on here and connect it to your D-ring and use a bungee leash. So yeah. you can pull it out, look at it. It keeps your, your equipment nice and tight. You're not dragging stuff on the reef. Correct. Stuff like that makes yeah. a world of difference. Yeah. But little details like that, again, that's what it's all about. Yeah. And we didn't point it out on the Luna when we spoke about it, but on the left side pocket, we do have a, a open hole on the pocket where a lanyard, a retractor can be put in there, comes with our pro kits, yeah. and it can be yeah. connected through be that a, hole. Be a link down below for the pro kit. Right, yeah. and you'll be able to have this close to you when not in use and be able to pull it out, look at your gauges, see where you're at, and it retracts back, keeps close and comfortable, nice smooth super, diving. Super. Mm -hmm. We've got a treat, we're gonna look at a new color computer. New color wrist computer, that's All for right. sure. Stick with us.